Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Spiegel. I'm a cardiology fellow at Washington University in St. Louis. It is my pleasure today to be interviewing Dr. Michael Rich. He is a full professor of uh, cardiology at Washington University in St. Louis uh, with um, special interest in geriatric cardiology and a great deal of expertise and experience in clinical research. Thank you for being here with us today, Dr. Rich. Thanks, Adam. My pleasure. Dr. Rich, I wanted to ask you, um, I know you have, you have a lot of experience and an academic interest in geriatric cardiology. Um, what advice do you have for fellows uh, for whom that's uh, an interest of theirs and who are thinking about making it their career path? Well, I would say anyone interested in geriatric cardiology should first and foremost join the geriatric cardiology section of the American College of Cardiology. We have a section membership of about uh, 1,200 individuals plus about 400 fellows. Um, fellows uh, can join our section free, and we have a fellows in training um, uh, working group that we're always looking for new fellows, particularly since every year some fellows cycle off as they're no longer fellows and they're going into practice or pursuing whatever other careers they um, are uh, intending, so that there's always openings on the um, FIT working group. We're anxious to have uh, new, new people join us. We have a, a session tomorrow afternoon that um, is an open session for the geriatric cardiology section. Excellent, thank you're you. You're welcome to attend. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, have, you, have you seen anything here, or are you anticipating seeing anything here at uh, ACC18 that you're uh, excited about or looking forward to in the world of uh, geriatric cardiology? Well, I think that um, geriatric cardiology is interesting for, among other reasons, the fact that it spans virtually all of cardiology. There's very little cardiology nowadays that doesn't involve the geriatric population. And so we're interested in pretty much all of the new research findings that are coming out, the major uh, clinical trials, PCSK9 inhibitors, um, the LIFEST trial, and, and other studies uh, will be of interest and impactful to um, patients who are over 75, which is what we generally define as geriatric, and will impact our practice. Excellent. And we, uh, you know, we know that you've had a great deal of success in clinical research over your career. Um, you know, too many, too many uh, items to list, certainly. But what advice do you have for um, fellows who uh, would like to uh, embark on a career in clinical research? So I think the two most important things are, number one, to pursue your passion, that you should uh, work in the area that is really interesting and exciting to you. And number two, identify a suitable mentor who is working in that area and who shares your passion and is willing to spend time uh, working with you to develop your career. Excellent. Well, thank you for that advice, Dr. Rich. Um, it's really been a pleasure speaking with you today. We hope you enjoy the rest of uh, ACC 18. Thank you very much.